Hi YouTube, Zach Boy Mahalo here with another video and this time it's a different type of video since I usually uh, shoot my videos in the morning because of better lighting this time it's different uh, we're gonna I'm doing it in the afternoon and by the way the uh, current temperature here in San Diego is 82 degrees Fahrenheit that's a uh, fall weather here in San Diego so by the way the difference of the average temperature in San Diego from winter to summer is just I believe 10 degrees so that's how uh, the temperature here in San Diego changes oh since uh, since October, I've seen a lot of posting that uh, uh, dragon fruit has been uh, slowing down production in the, of course, Northern Hemisphere since it's fall. On the other side of the coin though, uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, then dragon fruit is gonna start ramping up. Since I'm on the Northern Hemisphere and I've seen a posting of the like uh, their last dragon fruit harvested uh, October for the 2018 year that's why we have this video I'm talking about uh, using artificial lighting to extend the fruiting cycle of your dragon fruit so there's been a lot of uh, growers that have been using uh, artificial lighting at night time to extend the flowering and eventually fruiting cycle of their dragon fruit from uh, let's say October to I guess December January because usually uh, dragon fruit uh, fruiting uh, stops by October till March and it'll start again from March or April till October of the next year so I've been researching and I found out that uh, growers have been using artificial lighting and what kind of uh, light do they use I've seen uh, uh, research that people were using incandescent uh, I've seen them use uh, this one incandescent and uh, CFL or uh, compact fluorescent lighting or maybe eventually they'll be using LEDs because this is more efficient than the CFL uh, I've seen also people saying uh, it's not the lighting that uh, produces fruit but the temperature you have to warm up your uh, plants or dragon fruit plants for them to uh, produce uh, fruit well I beg to disagree on that uh, I think uh, in San Diego as compared to like let's say in tropical areas San Diego weather is colder relatively colder or cooler than uh, like South American uh, or tropical uh, weather temperature so uh, saying that the temperature has to do with uh, something uh, temperature has something to do with uh, producing fruit I don't think because uh, in San Diego like the other day it was 51 degrees Fahrenheit so I don't think uh, temperature has to do with it I think it's the lighting that's why it's like uh, photosynthesis to make uh, fruits that's why it's called photosynthesis because it's photo means light all right so I've been researching what kind of uh, lights do they use uh, earlier people have been using uh, incandescent which is about 60 to uh, 100 watts they were using and they uh, light up their uh, 
uh, farming uh, dragon fruit uh, farms with uh, from uh, like 6 in the evening to 10 in the evening so that's about uh, four hours of additional light during October starting October to uh, whenever I haven't uh, done that research yet so and now I've seen some uh, research saying that they've been using CFL uh, which uh, is less which you probably use less uh, um, electricity since if you use 100 watts of this and then you have the same uh, CFL that uses maybe 40 watts but the same output as 100 watt then you'll be saving money so they've been doing that uh, artificial lighting in uh, let's say Vietnam so if you look at this one here they've been using artificial lighting on uh, other plants also but in uh, dragon fruit like this one here see to extend the daylight hours and thus getting uh, additional uh, fruiting cycle from your dragon fruit and because you can get fruits uh, out of season that means you can sell your dragon fruit uh, uh, at a higher price which compensates for your uh, um, consumption on uh, or paying your electric electric bill all right, I'm pretty sure uh, they started with uh, um, incandescent and now they've gone to CFL and eventually they'll be uh, uh, going to LEDs. Since LEDs, uh, I've seen uh, grow lights like this one here using uh, LEDs and also CFLs. Like the, the LED that I have here in my uh, my aquarium, as you can see it's got different colors. So it's a sp full spectrum LED with, which mimics the daylight. And I'm pretty sure uh, um, you can get the proper wavelength of light that you need to uh, grow dragon fruit. And for those people that are uh, like growers that I've seen uh, them ask questions uh, do you like in the winter time where they uh, bring their dragon fruit inside they were thinking how will I grow my dragon fruit when I'm in that zone uh, 9 or zone 10 I'll be in zone 6 where you have winter cold weather I guess you can uh, grow your dragon fruit using uh, like grow lights well, I'm yet. This is not a grow light. This is just a full spectrum uh, LED. But there are grow lights that are being set, sold on eBay or Amazon. So you can grow your dragon fruit indoors. And thus, if that was your question, you don't have to bring your dragon fruit outside during the winter. So, if you have something, some input about uh, growing uh, dragon fruit artificially using, I mean, growing dragon fruit using artificial lights, then maybe you can put some inputs here on the channel. So this is just a research, uh, just making uh, something uh, about uh, dragon fruit after the fruiting cycle. All right. So. Hopefully, it'll uh, spark some uh, minds and give you ideas on how to grow your dragon fruit. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.